There's also the reports that were coming out a couple of weeks ago when Kayla Williams did go to USC and visited that he wasn't enamored. So, so maybe that's, and, and whether those reports are true or not, just to give another perspective on it, again, this is a decision that comes down to just the, the wisdom of, okay, what is the best situation for me if I make a checklist? If I make a checklist of who has what and who doesn't have what. And then there's also just the emotional response of, of the, the people that you meet, of the location, of the facilities. just just And then there's just that gut feeling, that gut uh, reaction and response to what is the best decision for me. And I, I'm purely speculating here that maybe – uh, Caleb Williams, he's 19 or 20 years old. Maybe he goes out there. Maybe it's not as comfortable for him and maybe it's different than what he expected. But then once he had a, a chance to get more familiar with it and and step back and consider some things that that the change isn't always comfortable, that um, that he came to a different conclusion. Yeah, I mean, how how a young person processes decisions like it, it's such a particular exact journey that you know we no one else is walking that road it's only him and it's only his worldview it's only his perspective and so many things that are happening in the football world both college and pro i mean who knows like wh what's been happening in the nfl with patrick mahomes you know seemingly guaranteed to make a, a third straight super bowl and then falling apart in the second half like is that something that affected Caleb Williams in terms of giving him the sense that, you know, hey, nothing's guaranteed. So like, you know what? I actually do need to be at USC. I'm not saying that that's what what happened, but I'm just bringing up the larger point that a lot of different things out in the larger world uh, could happen to make someone either reconsider a decision or to be reaffirmed in a decision. And who knows just w which little events, uh, you know, if he wasn't if if we assume uh, that you know that rumor that you mentioned that he wasn't really enamored with USC uh, at an after an earlier visit. If we assume that, what what little events or plot twists or turning points occurred to either reverse his mind or maybe solidify his his mindset? Uh, you know, it's it's hard to know. But like you know, <laughs> this is a a young man making a, a momentous decision, and the idea that it's just going to be smooth and linear. You know that that's not reality, right? And, and so th that's part of just this this journey. And it, it's what led us to a point over the past weekend where Wisconsin had to be taken seriously. Again, not to the point that the Badgers were ever the favorite. I don't think we ever got to that point. But like after, again, after what we saw with Lincoln Riley and Brian Kelly at the end of November, you know, it's just it's just not uh, as safe to assume the logical decision as it might have been a couple years ago in college football.